your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. A lot of clouds out there on the Kerber Post Buildings weather cam. Few breaks in the clouds here and there. Here's your Casey State Bank. Water tower forecast for Charleston, mostly cloudy and 30. That'll be a common forecast tonight. Uh, there's what we're uh, tracking, I should say. Here's the school bus forecast. 30, mostly cloudy. That's for Terre Haute at 7 o'clock. Now, here's what we're tracking. Uh, Monday morning showers, very iffy. I wouldn't concern myself too much with those. Same scenario Tuesday. Maybe a shower, but nothing to put in the forecast. Very low threat. Warming up late week, Saturday rain, then Sunday, maybe a snow to rain mix. Don't worry about that. The temperatures aren't going to be bad and the ground's still warm. 40 right now, 37 is what it feels like with the west-northwest wind at the airport. Pressure rising, 29.89. No rain here at the studios after midnight. Where I live in Vigo County, very light precipitation. And it was real hit or miss stuff. You can see 100th over Greencastle, Mattoon, 2200s, 1400s at Effingham. Most everybody either got a trace or not a drop at all. Low temperatures dropped to 35 at Terre Haute. Warmer south, 42 at Vincennes. The average low is 28, so still a mild start. Not bad today, 45 at the airport, 46 Bloomington, 42 over at Mattoon. 43 is the average, so ballpark there. Just starting to cool. We'll be a little cooler tomorrow morning when you wake up, down around 30. So dropping below freezing. Tomorrow, a repeat of today, mid-40s. Not bad for this time of year. The winds, uh, these can pick up a little bit tonight. Out of the west right now, these are wind speed averages at the airports. Could go and see some gusts at 25, but the winds will start to turn as we go through the overnight. Metro view, more clouds than what the models put down, but uh, not a bad evening. Now, if you're worried about freezing with the temperature dropping to 30, if you had rain, maybe an errant slick spot here or there. Remember, bridges and overpasses freeze first with cold air underneath them. Here's our next system trying to spin in. I don't know if that'll produce much for us, though. Maybe we get a shower out of that. Might dodge it all together, though. It may track a little off to the northeast. So right now, we're pretty much rain-free. There's a live look. Dorset Automotive Doppler Radar. Nothing close to us and put future cast in motion. See what this model says about Monday morning. It brings a few showers in. Keeps it mainly along and south of I-70. If we do get that, I think that'll hold up to be true. And also, pretty aggressive bringing in a light shower too on Tuesday. I don't know that we'll see anything then. Whatever we get out of this, these one or two chances of rain, it's going to be pretty light, almost a half inch at Flora, if we get that rain tomorrow morning. Now, as far as the overnight, we're looking at a lot of cloud cover out there. Uh, winds will pick up a little bit as we go through the overnight. Mostly cloudy, 30 for the low. And then tomorrow, as you head back to work or school, maybe a morning shower here or there. We'll start to see some sunshine by the afternoon. Winds will turn and come out in the northwest. 46 for the high. And looking ahead on the seven-day forecast. Pretty good temps all week. Uh, yeah, the models have updated and say maybe an a.m. shower on Tuesday. Okay. And then look at that. 50s. Friday, maybe near 60. Rain in Saturday. We could see a rain-snow mix on Sunday. But with those temps and the ground being warm, it won't be a big problem. Jack.